ugly stage. If you ask 99% of all failed dreadheads why they ended their journey, that is the reason why. Because I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit is fully terrible. Like, bro, every real dreadhead knows. For you to make it to the promised lands, bro, you must make it through that bullshit. And majority niggas are not ready for that shit, bro. Because let's be honest, bro. While you're in the ugly stage game, you're cooked. Like, bro, it is nothing you can do to your dress. It's no method, none of that shit, bro. You're just finished. You have to thug that shit out, bro. Like, bro, this shit takes a lot of mental strength, bro. And I'm saying all this shit, bro, because right now, that is what I'm going through. Like, bro, a nigga don't even want to DM a hoe, bro, because, nigga, my dress are cooked. Like, bro, it's literally none of that shit, bro. It's literally like your life is on pause until your dress get to its prime, bro. That shit crazy. Like, a nigga don't want to pop out. Nigga can't flick up, bro. All that shit is dead. Like, all you can do during this stage, bro, is just hop in that motherfucking hyperbolic time chamber game. You feel what I'm saying? And get right. Like, niggas wonder why I ain't been posting, bro. I have to grind. Like, bro, I'm trying to get out of this phase as soon as possible, bro. But until then, bro, I must remain in purgatory. Which brings me to the point of this video. I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty much just gonna be complaining about all the bullshit that you go through when you in the ugly stage, bro. All this shit that make a nigga wanna quit and restart, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Now, before I start this video, bro, I gotta talk to y'all boys real quick. Now, listen, man, I ain't gonna lie. I know I haven't been posting for a good minute now, bro. Like, it's been at least, like, three, four months since I made a video. You feel what I'm saying, bro? I've been trolling on the streams, bro. I've been trolling on a lot of things, bro. But listen, we finna get back right. If y'all been paying attention to my old streams and all my other social medias, bro, you would know that my dress were looking way worse than this before, bro. Like, as of right now, bro, I'm pretty much almost out of purgatory, you feel what I'm saying? I'm finna get back to posting way more, bro. So if you liking this content, bro, make sure you subscribe. And also hit that like button, bro. We are almost to 90,000 subscribers, bro. And that's gonna get us even closer to our main goal of 100 K, man. So I gotta shout out all my supporters, man. All y'all boys that been rocking with me through this break, bro. I really appreciate y'all. But without no further ado, let's get straight into it, man. Now, first things first, bro. What is the ugly stage? Now, for niggas that don't know, the ugly stage is pretty much when your hair is too locked up to the point where it doesn't look like a fro. But it's also not locked up enough that it doesn't look like real freeforms, bro. That's why that shit is so terrible. You're literally sitting in between two different hairstyles, bro, and that shit is bullshit. That's why majority of niggas cannot make it through this phase, bro. This shit get tough. But now that we got all that shit out the way, bro, let's get straight into my complaints. Now, the first thing we're going to be talking about on this list, bro, is frizz. And let me just explain, bro. Literally every dreadhead knows if you have dreads, bro, you're gonna have frizz, bro. It just comes with it. But, bro, the ugly stage frizz, bro, that shit is another level. Like, bro, I fucking hate that shit, bro. And I literally know it's because your dreads ain't locked up all the way, bro. But, bro, it's just too many loose hairs. Like, bro, I be sitting there twisting my hair, using the sponge, bro, going crazy all day. Just for me to put my bonnet on, go to sleep, wake up the next day with the same exact frizz, bro. That shit irritating. Like, it really be making a nigga feel like I'm not doing shit to my hair, bro. I'm just bullshitting. Like, if y'all don't know, bro, I literally two-strand twisted my freeforms just to try to get around this shit, bro. Like, I actually thought that shit was gonna help it. All for me to take that shit out and for it to pretty much go back to the same bullshit, bro. Like, that shit is crazy. And like I said, if you're a real dreadhead, you already know that this shit already comes with it, bro. But that still doesn't stop the fact how annoying this shit is, bro. Now, the second thing we gonna be talking about on this list bro is bad hair if you have free forms bro you already know the bed is one of your top ops bro that nigga does not want to see you win because i ain't gonna lie if you fall asleep without your bonding on your head bro with free forms gang you're done not only will your shit be smushed bro but if you're not far enough into your free form career bro your shit is coming apart and nigga even if you put on your bonnet bro Yo, shit is still gonna be smushed. Like, a nigga gotta put in extra work every morning just so I can walk out the crib looking a little bit decent, bro. And now that I think about it, bro, nigga, fuck the bed. If you lean your freeforms against any surface, bro, it's fully cooking your shit. Like, nigga, you try to lean up against a wall, you're cooked. You in the car with your head leaned back on the seat for too long, bro, you're cooked. And nigga, don't think about putting on no type of hat, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, if you put a hat on over your freeforms, bro, 
you're pretty much just putting your free forms in an ultimate combo, bro. Like, nigga, you're done. Like, nigga, if you put on a hat, you might as well get to moving, wobbling around, and get ready for this fucking finisher, bro. Now, the number one complaint that I have about the ugly stage, bro, and literally every single dreadhead knows this shit, bro. Water is your worst enemy bro like i ain't gonna lie and i'm not talking about the shower bro like niggas already know you can't wash your hair during free farms bro that's common knowledge bro i'm talking about any type of water bro you're cooked and bro niggas know it's summer bro it's literally hot as fuck outside but nigga if you have free forms bro you cannot go swimming you cannot do none of that shit gang you want to step under the little sprinkler gang you're cooked you hooping you playing basketball you get to sweating gang you're cooked and nigga don't let it rain bro because i ain't gonna lie if you have free forms in the ugly stage and you get caught in the rain bro we might as well lay your casket bro you're done like bro you cannot get your hair wet in any type of capacity bro or you're going right back to the fro stage like nigga even if you're using a wet towel method bro if you're not far enough into your freeform journey bro you're cooked that shit is literally gonna get to unraveling your dress bro and that's a method to get free forms, bro. So it don't make no sense. Like, bro, I don't know. Literally every single type of water is gonna get on business with your dress, bro. And it's nothing you can do. You literally just have to keep them bitches dry, bro, or you're done. Now, with that being said, man, I'm done chatting bullshit. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just had to get a couple things off my chest real quick, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, my dreads are almost out of the ugly stage, bro. So, I'm gonna be dropping a brand new freeform tutorial for y'all boys. And overall, we just gonna be posting more vids to the channel, bro. I literally been trolling all summer, bro. So, I have to get back right for y'all boys. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, make sure y'all hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, bro. That shit would mean a lot to me, man. Also, so if you a real nigga that been with me throughout all my breaks and shit, bro, make sure you comment down below. I couldn't be doing this shit without y'all boys, man. No funny shit. But that's all I got for y'all boys, man. Ain't bucks out.